What's going on guys, owner Arnas here, welcome back to the channel. I just filmed a video, something about like how Instagram like effed me over and stuff like that. And now uh, I want to film a video about the raw reality of making half a million dollars a year. Okay, so I'm just gonna wing it pretty much, but I just wanted to share like the kind of stuff that happens on a day-to-day -day basis that you probably don't see or hear about much uh, because everyone's amazing and great on social media but they never really share like uncool stuff that no one wants to hear about but i guess like instead of doing another like clickbaity video uh being like hey like this is how you do this this is how you do that um i hope you can learn just from me speaking the truth in front of the camera rather than needing like uh, slides changing every half a second, you know, because you have like goldfish brain and you can't focus for more than uh, three seconds, you know, uh, and, and just listen to someone speak. But if you can, this video will be, you know, really, really, really useful for you. So again, uh, I wanted to talk about the raw reality of making half a million dollars a year. Am I the richest guy on, on the planet, planet Earth? Absolutely not, okay? But you know what? I'm 99% further than most people at this age. I'm 21 years old. I traveled to 26 countries so far. Uh, I met incredible people. I have done big business deals. I have been offered to sell my company to a huge media conglomerate, you know, and I have achieved a lot of cool stuff you know, uh, on paper and as well lived like a cool lifestyle. You know, I'm always traveling and I'm living the life of freedom. I can work from my laptop and my phone from anywhere around the world. Like I can even film these videos. Like I have my laptop over here, my phone over there, a tripod and, and a mic. So that's all I pretty much need to travel around the world and do this. Okay. Also like a charger and that's it. Um, you know, <clears throat> and this, this, few past months been incredibly good for me okay in terms of like business and numbers and i've been pushing hard it, it didn't just come out of nowhere like i've been pushing hard for the past few months and you know i i kind of hit the 500k a year run rate which again is not nothing too crazy there are people doing you know 500k a week um and like i totally know that but for me you know, as a guy from like, from Eastern Europe, you know, from Lithuania, who grew up, let's say, you know, until I was like 14, my family didn't really have much. Just after 14 or 13 years old, my dad opened like a small pizza place and had his own business, which again, he wasn't like rich or anything, but just opened up his own business, which led to more stress and a bit more money. Um, than just working a regular job. And that's where I come from. I come from a small town of like 7,000 people. Every time I, I visit, I just want to like, I just want to choke. Like all you can do in a town like that is just literally smoke cigarettes and drink alcohol and like gamble on your phone. Like there's nothing to do there. So every time I go visit my family, I'm like, oh, this is terrible. Like I don't want to be a day over here. Um, and I actually visited recently, but that's not the point of the video. You know, I come from essentially like just nothing and a big dream in my mind. Like I always knew I wanted to be uh, an entrepreneur. I always wanted wanted to do business. I, I was business savvy. I understood business from a very young age. And when I say business savvy, like I would just see like, okay, we're at a restaurant, like, you know, it's like a meme right now, but literally like at eight years old, I would be like, okay, there's this and this many tables. I would be very good at math. I'm still good at math, but as a kid, like I was extremely good at math. Okay. I didn't like study math. I was just naturally just good with numbers. So I would just do the math in my head and I'm like, oh damn, like this place is probably making this amount of money per day. That means like, this is how much they're making per year. Like that's incredible. You know, that that kind of business savvy. So I didn't know like business process or anything, but I was very interested in money, counting money, um, you know, doing math and stuff. 
and now I'm here. I mean, and it's it hasn't been that long. I'm only 21 years old. I moved out of my parents' home like as soon as I uh, turned 18, essentially, and finished high school. Uh, I didn't go to university. I didn't do any of that traditional path. The only job I did have was working for my dad, essentially, directly at that pizza spot, um, you know, where I barely was paid. So I don't come from money. Um, and everything I have, like my parents are very supportive and they have, you know, more money than they used to when I was growing up right now. But like everything I have, all the trips you see, like everything I buy, essentially, um, all the money and everything is like completely on me. Like I've done all of this, right? Do my parents support me? Yes, absolutely. I'm not going to hide that. Right. Uh, but not like financially, like they don't give me money, uh, or anything like that. So I built everything myself. Um, of course, like my mom and my dad was extremely supportive again, but like, it's incredible to come from that where like a lot of people might think like, Oh, but like you grew up in a, let's say second world country, I guess Lithuania is it's in Europe union, right? Oh, you grew up in Europe union. Like you're lucky. Um, you know, you grew up in, in a place where there's like good banking and good education and stuff like that. Yes. But like, compared to like someone being born in the United States, like you get way, way, way less opportunity in general in life just by being born in like EU or like Lithuania, like a small country with 3 million people in a little town. And it's barely been like four years that I'm running my own business successfully. And now I'm doing a 500K a year, which, you know, let's say is around 40, 42 grand a month, more or less. Um, and that's, by the way, like in profit. Okay. Just to make sure, because like people are flexing numbers online and they're like, oh, I make 500 grand a month and their profit margin is like 10%, which is 50 grand. And then they live in a high, um, high tax country. And they, in reality, like keep $25,000 a month but they're flexing 500 K a month screenshot. So, you know, 500 K run rate is around $42,000 per month in profit. So how does it feel? Honestly, it feels amazing, but like less exciting as you would think. So if you're listening to this and like, maybe you work a job or you never like actually made money online, like I've been making money online for let's say three years, three and a half years. Yeah. Um, more than that. So it feels great. Yes. But it doesn't feel anything like absolutely insane. Like the first dollar you make, you get such a big high from that, like online, especially because like you break so many beliefs in your mind where you're like, you were thinking like, damn, I've been watching all of these YouTubers like me. And you're like, they're talking about making 500 grand a year. And I haven't made a single dollar. And once you do make that single dollar, it just like blows your mind because you're like, oh my God, like everything they said was true. That's insane. But the way I feel is first of all, I'd say it's relatively stressful. You have to be a person who can handle stress and stay calm under any circumstances um, because you're just gonna, you know, like in the Wolf of Wall Street, like uh, there's a scene of like, how many times do you per day, you know? And he's like, I don't know, like three times a week. He's like, you need to do it twice or three times a day, you know, because you'll lose control. And he does this thing, like lose control. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street reference. Uh, I guess I'm a meme now, but like, that's so true. Because like so many guys just burn, like just, just burn out and that's it. Like they can handle the stress and there will be people who like kind of succeed for a bit, but then they go down and they're like, you know what? Like I'm tired of running my business and so stressful. And it is true. Like it's stressful. Like if, if you would put an average like person who just like works a regular good paying job 
uh, at an office, you would put them in my position. They would be like, hell yeah, like you have all this freedom. But like an average person couldn't handle the stress I handle every single day. Um, just because like they're not used to that. And I'm pretty much used to it. And it's a thing that I really needed to learn about as well to like stay calm, not really care about like what anyone says or anyone thinks just like stay calm, keep running my business, keep doing the tasks I need to do. And like the most successful people I met, uh, they were extremely calm and they had this like welcoming calm energy. Um, because yeah, when I started, like I used to overreact like, um, you know, when I would go up and down. So I would get like, uh, when I just started, I, I was selling this product for like $17 and I would get a sale and I would like start jumping up and down. I would be like, yeah, like this is working. I was dreaming about this all my life. And then like, you know, I would have like high expectations, for example, for a promotion. So I'm doing a promotion and I have an expectation of making like five sales and I make zero sales. I would be like so down in my mood and stress. And I'm like, oh my God, it's all over now. Like it was all a big dream and stuff. And now I kind of learned to be like stoic and calm. Uh, but it is still stressful. Like I just made a video on how like um, copyright strikes on my Instagram really like, let's say not stopping my business, but like it's not easy to handle that, you know, like knowing that tomorrow you can wake up without a million follower page isn't the best feeling ever, you know? Um, but you need to live with that in the back of your mind. And, uh, it's really hard because you can't let like other voices get in your head as well. So like I have voices from not, let's say not childhood, but like my teenage years when I already expressed like interest in doing business. And I would tell other people and they would just laugh. They would be like, oh, like you're not going to do shit. Like you're not going to be an entrepreneur. Uh, or if you're going to be one, you're not going to be a successful one. And like, like literally, like I had people laugh at me who were like successful, pretty successful people. I'm more successful than them now. So, you know, guess who's laughing now? But like you really need to handle the day to day stress and um, like I got a friend messaging me a few hours ago and that's why I'm filming this video. Now he watched one of my YouTube videos and he saw like, he's an entrepreneur as well. And he messaged me like, how you been stressed question mark because he saw a video and I guess he knew exactly like how I was feeling because he's an entrepreneur. But yeah, the, the stress is like the number one thing, which no one talks about. And like, that's, the main difference, right? Like just the lifestyle itself, for example, like I can't imagine right now on a day to day basis living just like the normal lifestyle, like wake up, go to the office at nine, leave at five clock out, just do your job well. And then like, I don't know, watch a game on TV or watch some Netflix when you come back. Like I could not do that right now after I saw what's possible in the world. And like, after I traveled a bit, after I had like a crazy lifestyle where like people can't even believe, but like, you know, I had a lifestyle for a while where I was working like 15 minutes a day. And that work is literally just like opening up my laptop, checking if like the email went out and then opening up my phone, like answering a few messages and sending a few voice notes. Like I lived that lifestyle working 15 minutes a day, being in a, like a random country traveling for like months on end. Like I'm not talking about taking a vacation for a week. I'm talking about like, that's my life for like months and months and months. Right. And a lot of people can't even imagine that. So the lifestyle is really cool. Like the money is also really cool, but you get used to it where it's like, I remember when I first moved out of my house and, um, out of my parents, sorry. And, um, you know, I, I would go to a restaurant and I would just order like a pizza for for 15 euros and get a drink and the bill would come out at like 20 euros. And, you know, I again, like I'm from a small town and it used to be like, oh, like that's 20 euros. I, I should like look at where I spend my money. Like now that I make more money, 
I guess like I don't really look at it that much. I don't stress over it. If I go like if I go out and the bill comes out at like 100 euros because I'm, I went like on a date or something, I don't like even think about it. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Like I had a good time. The food was good, you know, and for you, like you might be listening from somewhere where some city where it's like extremely expensive and you would be like, yeah, 100 euros is like normal. But like I'm just talking, you know, in general, like my perception of money changed so much where my tolerance to high prices is way better than it used to be. Like yesterday, I just signed up for like a random mastermind for three and a half thousand dollars. And like, there's no like, um, outcome for that mastermind. Like, you know, most masterminds will be like, oh, you'll start making like a hundred grand a month with your business, uh, by doing this or stuff like that. Like, no, I signed up for a three and a half thousand mastermind. where are just like Instagram group chat with a bunch, like a hundred different guys. And like, that's it pretty much. <laughs> um, it's like a golf club. You could say you're a member and, and that's it. So I signed up for that and three and a half thousand for you might be like, oh, like that's a lot. And I just like, I went on a call with the owner of that mastermind yesterday, like on WhatsApp video, we talked for like 20 minutes. He's like, yeah, so this is what it is. Like this group chat, you can meet all these guys. Like you can travel around the world, be like, hey, like I'm in Medellin. Like, do you want to meet? And like some people will say yes because they're in Medellin and they're all vetted. They need to make at least like $10,000 a month or more. Uh, they're like not weirdos and stuff. I was like, cool, man. Like, how can I join? I was like, well, well there's a fee. It's like three and a half thousand dollars. I was like, okay, like, let me ask me, ask you this question. I asked something and I was like, wait, before my brain comes up with any other questions, like, let me sign up first, pay you. And then I'll ask if anything like is unclear. And I just signed up like that, like three and a half thousand dollars just dropped. I didn't even feel it, you know, like that's the cool part about it. But then again, like there's the stress part about it where, for example, today, like there's a lot of things going wrong. I had a few calls. They didn't went, go as well as expected. Like, you know, there, there's a lot of distress. So kind of like there's the good and the bad when you're doing that amount of money, right? Like there's the dream lifestyle that everyone talks about, but then there's like stress and like take a look at my skin, right? I, I like as a kid, I had not the best skin, but like when I was traveling and working 15 minutes a day, my skin didn't look like that for sure. Like you can see it here. Like my forehead is full of like not the best skin ever. And that's stress, you know, that's stress showing up on my face. But I guess I just have to do what I have to do. I have to wake up every morning with the same energy. Go ahead, crush the day, make it happen. Um, and you might think like, well, what's the point of all of this? I just love this, man. I just love this. I just love waking up and having that kind of anxious feeling, which sometimes can haunt on you. But most of the time when like, I wake up and I feel a bit stressed and anxious, it means that I'm doing something like I'm doing something cool. I'm, I'm working on something big. Um, and, and it's not like, I, I kind of get like butterflies when I feel that stress, which is like the opposite of what most people would feel. But yeah, like besides the stress and, and like being attacked by hackers on your online social media and dealing with like hate online with like, I don't deal with it, but I see like stupid comments like, which makes no sense or getting like messages or emails. Um, yeah, dealing with like having a pretty high, like, uh, fixed cost. So like I have a team of nine right now and like, I have a bunch of software. So like my flat costs are pretty high. So like, besides dealing with all of that, it's still, I, I would still do it. You know, I would still do it. It's so good. Um, for example, like I'm thinking of buying my dream car right now. Like it's fucking crazy to think about it. I'm only 21 years old right now. And like, if I would have known at 16 or 15 that I would be thinking in a way that I'm thinking and doing what I'm doing, I couldn't like, I would be like, yeah, like I hope that happens. But like, 
it's actual reality now and it feels like a dream like it feels like i'm living in a dream because like i've been thinking about all of this since i was a very young kid right so i don't know if i'm gonna i have two options right now as well which is worth mentioning like this is the reality of making the 500 grand a year so option number one buy my dream car okay but then like double down on the business obviously use like my car for social media as well so like a lot of people don't understand but like all the influencers you see who show that they drive a car one of the reasons they bought that car is for marketing right so like for my business if i put it on the youtube channel or put it in my instagram i'll get either like more b2z clients so like just people who are looking or like even more advertisers on passionate income it's just like in general gonna make you more money you're gonna feel better so even when i say that i'm like the, the option number one obviously i should go for it so either option number one buy my dream car double down on the business do more marketing with a car just drive the car obviously like because it's so cool and fast and quick um but yeah if i would buy the car you know then i would be like kind of stuck in a physical location where the car is so i just sold i haven't sold it yet but like it's for sale and it's not here um my mercedes which like you can check out the barcelona vlog it was like the last road trip with that car it's not the best car ever but like it's a pretty nice car i bought it at like was i 18 or 19 now i i don't remember exactly yeah i guess i was i was 19 at that point yeah I was 19 when I bought the car and like and still a pretty cool Mercedes at at 19 years old paid in cash you know but I sold that car because I was stuck in one location right like not fully stuck but when you have a car parked there for like pretty expensive I mean like it's a Mercedes right so it's not like a shitty car um you don't really want to leave that place then because like if I go on a trip for like three months I don't want to leave my car there for three months, depreciating it, not using it for like content, stuff like that. And it just like brings you back to the same physical location because like, well, I paid all this money for the car. I'd rather use it because you have like all the insurance and, and all that stuff, the maintenance that's still going to be there if you're going to use the car or not. So that's number one, you know get the car stay in one physical location double down on the business make more money than i ever made and scale the business essentially if i'm like at 500k i'm pretty sure i could scale to like a million a year and relatively quick time frame if i get the car and and use that in my marketing and and stuff like that um or option number two just absolutely like disappear work like 15 minutes a day just keep my business at like 500k a year and then travel right not be like in one physical location at all so like if i would go travel i would go mexico mexico colombia colombia yeah um argentina yeah i would go to those places and probably brazil uh the reason why is because I already traveled to like Asia. I, it wasn't my cup of tea. A lot of people like swear by it. Like, oh my God, Bali is the best place on earth. Like maybe it is for you, but I didn't really like the lack of infrastructure and the fact that you're literally like in the jungle um, driving like a, a motorbike with like insane traffic where like the risk of you falling down uh, of your motorbike and getting injured seriously is pretty high and the medical like field in there is not the best probably in the world so like just thinking of that i don't want to be there the lack of infrastructure the lack of cleanliness i didn't really like that but then i would go to like i, I visited that i didn't like it i was in the middle east i mean i have a company in dubai um so i spent a lot of time in the middle east europe is cool but europe is like you can always come back to europe that kind of feeling because i am from europe so like you can spend more time in Europe any time of, of the day, you know. Uh, but then I'm considering going to South America. I'm, I'm, I hired a teacher, a uh, Spanish teacher. I've been learning from for the past two or three months now. So my Spanish is getting way better. Um, 
I'm speaking to people like I have, you know, let's say friends, girlfriends, um, which are speaking Spanish with me, only Spanish, no English at all. So I've been getting better at it. So I'm thinking like, yeah, again, option number one, get a dream car, double down on the business or option number two, just like go explore the world for the next few years, disappear, like not even make these videos or whatever. Um, just work 15 minutes a day, keep on running my business as it is and just go travel, 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 um, not be like very active online, just enjoy the life, meet a lot of like other cool, like-minded people, um, you know, maybe even get married like in a few years and then come back kind of like lock in and then buy the dream car. Right. Uh, but then another thing that haunts me is like, if I buy my dream car in two to three years from now, and I know like I could do it now, right? So if I buy it in two to three years from now, let's say in three years from now, just to make the math different or four years from now, now four years from now. So I'm 21 years old right now. And four years from now, if I buy my dream car, I'll be 25 and I'll be like, heck yeah. Like I bought a dream car at 25 years old. You know, I'll be able to tell my kids like, oh yeah, daddy bought his dream car at 25. But how cool is it to be like, daddy bought his dream car at 21 like that's that sounds way better for me at least and i know there's not a huge difference there but like the worst case scenario i'll just have bought my dream car lost like 20 grand on depreciation drove it for a few months for six months 12 months sold it still had the best experience so let me know in the comments what would you do option number one or option number two um but yeah those are kind of like the human uh, human problems you face or like you have so many choices when you have the money and you you're like you own your choices and you make your decisions and you're like living the life of freedom that's the hard part like you don't there's no uh step-by-step -step book on what to do next like you kind of have to figure it out right and i've been thinking about option number one or option number two for probably like two weeks now because I went to Porsche dealership and I kind of checked out the car and I was like, man, like I want this car, you know, and I've been thinking about it. And I told a few people, like few entrepreneurs and like everyone says a different thing and everyone has like a valid reasons. Uh, so yeah, that's the reality of doing the whole thing. You know, yes, you, you deal with the tr stress, but then also you deal with like not knowing what's your next step. So for example, if you take a traditional route, everyone knows like you finish university, you go get a job, you go get better at your career. Maybe you have a girlfriend or you find one, you, you know, you get married, you start a family, you know, that's a traditional path. You get a mortgage, you get a house, you get a car, you work at a company for 20 years, you save up for your kind of uh, retirement, you know, you, you, you let your kids go to college and, and that whole, you know, style of living you take a vacation once a year and, and and that's it you know but like there's no real um guidebook or blueprint on how you should live when you're young making a bunch of money you're in somewhat of a good shape you're healthy you're strong um you know you have ri the right social skills you have a good network like there's no there's no blueprint on that so you kind of have to figure it out. There's more on your plate to juggle when you're choosing this kind of path. So yeah, and uh, enough of, <clears throat> you know, talking for this video. If you enjoyed the video and you stay till the end, leave a like on this video. I enjoy making these type of videos way more than like the the clickbaity ones with the slides where like <clears throat> you, you need to, you know, some you need as a viewer something going every half a second. Uh, but it works for some reason uh, and uh, like YouTube pushes that. So yeah, if you like the video, leave a like, uh, leave a comment down below, uh, subscribe to the channel and shoot me a message on Instagram. What do you think about these videos? Should I do more? Should I not do more? Let me know and I'll see you in the next one.